What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Subnautica guide where today, as you've seen in the title and thumbnail, we're going to be getting the Cyclops. Now the Cyclops is very helpful. Um, I'll show you it here now. Whoops. Um, right, so the Cyclops is this big submarine. Now it's very, very, very useful. It's basically your home away from home. It's humongous, so it needs a bit of taking care of, but it's really, really good. And I'm going to teach you today how to get it because I'm going to make sure you're not missing out. So today I'm going to tell you there's three different locations where you need to go. First of all, that's the Mushroom Forest, the Aurora, the back of the Aurora, and, well, I'm not too sure the name, but I'm pretty sure they're called the Underwater Floating Islands. Not the floating island over there, but the underwater ones which are over near the quarantine enforcement platform. So we're going to be going to the Aurora first. Now we're going to be going to the back. So you need to be careful because at the back, as I'm sure you all know, is Reaper Leviathans. Now I'm I'm post-game, so I they're not too much of a threat to me. If you're sort of not finished the game yet, but you want the Cyclops, then you probably will this need to be very careful because the Ghost Leviathans, well, they're great at destroying your vehicles, which makes them so annoying, and they're really powerful. So you're going to have to come over here. Now, make sure you have a radiation suit. You need a radiation suit, unless you've repaired the drive core. Now, I have got, um, I have got, um, sonar, just look, I, um, what I did before this is I killed one, just in case. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find them all around the floor here. So, just all around, don't go into the engine, I thought there'd be more in there, but there's not. So, you just go around, look and check and see there'll be loads of shards obviously you saw I've got mine already but beside the metal salvage there'll be loads and just make sure you get a good old check around so for, with that we're going to be going on to our next location remember be careful around this area now we're going to be going to the left of the Aurora just stick left and head left a bit sea moth is very helpful with this oh you will also I need to go through what you need what you'll need for this is a knife, just in case you go out, you need to scan the things. You'll need that scanner. But knife, just to protect yourself. Reaper Leviathans hate damage, so they'll move away from you, give you a chance, give you a breather. Um, you're, you'll need a laser cutter if you're going to be investigating the wrecks in the underwater floating islands. And you'll need a couple of other things. So what you're going to do is you're going to stay left to the Aurora and move back a bit and you'll see a ginormous big drop. Don't worry, it's not the crater's edge or anything. And just come down here, you'll sort of, you'll see the grassy plateaus, just the end of them. And here you'll see the ginormous fossilized mushrooms. Now, just sw you just pilot, swim or whatever over here and there'll be this you may think these ghost rays which is what they're called by the way um they they're very friendly they, they don't hurt you they make a creepy sound but most things in this game do but they're they're completely harmless so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just have a good old look around and there'll be tons of this is the word this is the area where you get the whole pieces now the hull pieces are, you need three of the shards, you need nine fragments in order to get this, by the way. So you need three hull fragments, three bridge fragments, and three other fragments. Can't mind the name, but you'll need three different types of fragments. So you don't think you'll just need one of these parts. You'll need to go to all three of these locations, so make sure you watch till the end of the video to not miss out. So you'll see them around here, just scattered around. Just give them a scan with your scanner. There's also a couple of few lithium deposits here. If you have your prawn suit, um, you can get, drill those up. Um, so this is where you find the hull fragments. 
So, and then we're going to be getting to the engine fragments. That's the name. So you're going to need the engine fragments. So we're going to be going quite a distance. So go up to the surface to sort of get your bearings. Now, do be careful since you're on the side of the Aurora. There's a very, very small chance, but there's still a chance you could find a Reaper Levi. Just be careful. So here's the Aurora here. You're up the side. So you want to head towards the mountain. So if you hop out, you'll see the big cloud over here. And you just want to head towards that. So that is northwest to north for anyone who wants to know the coordinates for that. But you'll see the ginormous big cloud here, even if you're in the sea moth. Now, you want to go over the lip. Now, I will give you a guide. So a bit more on what the Cyclops can do. It's very good for you're able to dock one of your vehicles there and then you're able to pilot around with the vehicle docked. It has many, many upgrades which you can get and those will allow you to do way more things. You can deploy creature decoys like instead of having to do it manually and they will distract any predators that come near. So here we are. The mountain is loaded in. There it is. So this is the mountain zoom. Now, when you're going to get here, you want to stick left. Mark my words, you can hear that stick left. Because the Reaper Leviathans, you can hear them out there. They are to the right, so you will stick left. I think you can see one over there in the distance. But stick left, please. I don't want any of you guys to get your sea moths hurt. Or your prawns or whatever. So you want to stick left and just go around the side. And right, we'll come along here. This is a very dangerous trip, so make sure you're prepared, like you have food and you're hydrated and all. So come down here. Now we're gonna be diving um, quite deep, so you're gonna need, if you're taking the sea moth, you're gonna need a depth module. But you should have that by now at this stage of the game. Now, be careful. Now, it obviously hasn't loaded in yet. Apologies for that. But you'll know by seeing these big pinky purple floaters. And look, a beautiful floating island. Now, that's not fully it. We're going to have to go even deeper in this. Why do we go so deep? Now, there will be bone sharks here, as you can see there. Just, just avoid them. Use the perimeter defense system if you have them. Which is because they they stay they hunt in packs, so be very careful. And look at that, we have a beautiful floating island. Oh, um, so we're gonna go over here. Now you just explore. Now once again, no lie, but it's randomized where the wrecks spawn. So you're gonna have to look individually on each of these wrecks. Oh goodness. Right. And just, but just make sure you have a good old look around. They are absolutely destroying my sea moth, as you can see. So try and avoid them as best you can. So they're real annoyance. They're pretty much everywhere, basically, down here. So, might have to go a wee bit lower. Oh, no we don't. As you can see here, guys, there is a wreck. Part of the Aurora. Beautiful ship for what it was. All right, so we're gonna go around here. If you have the sonar, it's gonna be such a great help. Or make sure none of them are there. Make sure none of the boom trucks are there. Right, so what you wanna do, wanna do is you wanna go down here. Now, make sure you have a high capacity or a ultra high capacity tank at best, because these ones are really, in, it's really deep. So you're gonna need a lot of oxygen to be able to come down. I like to park it here. I I'm just gonna do a bit of repairing. Uh, repair to... You see, they can't really squeeze in tight spaces like this. So I'm just gonna make a couple of repairs. Um, right. Uh, bring a stasis rifle. It's really helpful. Everything's really helpful in this game. Just tools you can use against them. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're not actually going to want to go inside the wreck, but it's really good because there's lots of shards for all sorts of helpful things. 
You're going to want to just explore around and there'll be shards for the engine all over here. So once you have that, that'll be all of the shards you're going to need or fragments, whatever you want to call them. They'll, they'll be near these like cargo boxes in or beside them and you just collect all them. Make sure you don't run out of oxygen and uh, just have just make sure you have a good old look and then you'll have the pieces so basically we're gonna head back and i'm gonna show you the ingredients you're gonna need because i have i haven't i have showed you how to get fragments for things but i haven't showed you the actual ingredients you need for it so we're gonna head back up to the surface um make sure we don't bump in into any reapers um if you bump into a reaper apologies because they it's this game is very random, spawn random areas. But that is where you'll find fragments. Now, hopefully it doesn't turn nighttime because it's hard for you guys to see them. Make sure you have your like your life pod five marked or any of your things. I have my all of mine marked. It's kind of a bit of a mess, but we're gonna head back. Um, and I'll see you there. All right, guys, we're back here and we're back at our base. And now we're going to try and create it now. So we're going to we need a mobile vehicle bay, which you can craft quite easily from your fabricator in your life pod or one in your base. This is my base here. Bit of a mess, but I'm proud of it. Um, so we're going to have one around here. Uh, here it is right there. It floats to the tops of the sea. But make sure, because you're going to need a lot of materials. So grassy plateaus is the best place to make it. But after you make it, you can just easily pilot it over. I built a wee docking bay to just hold it there. So we're going to we're gonna climb onto it. Press use, go into your vehicles, and the cyclops should appear. Now it is quite expensive. You're going to need a plus steel ingot. So you're gonna need six pieces of ti or six pieces of lithium and thirty pieces of titanium to make that. And then you're gonna need enameled glass. So you're gonna need a stalker tooth or three stalker teeth and three pieces of glass to get that. Lubricants you can get from the creep vines, which are found in the kelp forest over there, and they're quite near to the place you start the game at. So they're easy enough to find. The next thing we have is, I think, lead. Yes, lead's easy enough. Just you'll find it in the uh, grassy plateaus or anywhere just high, ver further on in the game. So that's easy enough to get then advanced wiring kit. That's the only thing that's gonna be a wee bit tricky to get because all the others are reasonably easy to get when you're at this stage in the game. Because uh, if you're trying to get this early, good on you but uh it is hard to get it so to uh yeah we'll go over here and get the fabricator and we will show i will show you so you go into your electronics for advanced wiring kit and go you need a wiring kit so that will cost you two silver ore two pieces of gold a computer chip which is gold copper wiring table call sample and then you'll be able to make it so that is all the ingredients you need to make it, and that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the guide. If you did enjoy it, give it a big fat thumbs up, smash it, just keep smashing it, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!